recently, I think there's been a lot of people that have been getting into the hobby that may not know too much about it or what to get. So today we're just going to be taking a look at my setup and what I have in it. Just a side note, this is not the ideal setup. This is just what I have started out with and this is an option for some people. And as you can see in the background, this is footage I've taken with my drone. First off, we have the drone. This drone is awesome for anyone getting into the hobby or even someone who's been flying for a long time. At this price point, this thing provides some really awesome quality. So from the top here, we have iFlight Suxx Force VTX, and that's running at 800 milliwatts, which is great, provides really good range. And down from that, we have an F4 flight controller, and down from that, we have our 45 amp ESCs. As for motors, we have iFlight's Zing series of motors, and these are 2750 kVs. They're great for 4S, and I've had no problems with them so far. The analog camera on the drone is the Cadex Retel, and it's pretty much bulletproof. The TPU mount shown there is for my GoPro Hero 5 session, and this thing's great for FPV. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Powering the whole drone is the CHNL Black 1300 mAh 4S. These batteries are great, and I can recommend them to anyone. Their price is very reasonable. For a remote, I have the FSI6X by Flysky. I can't say I recommend this to anyone who is planning on staying in the hobby, but it's great for only 50 bucks. You get 14 channels, and you can do pretty much most of what other more expensive controllers do. The GoPro Hero 5 Session is by no means the newest or best GoPro, but it goes above and beyond for FPV. For starters, this thing is small and light, so you can pretty much throw it on any drone. It can record up to 4K 30fps, but I much prefer a smoother frame rate, so I record at 1080p Super View 60fps. Second to last, we have the Eshin VR007 Pros. Now right off the bat, right off the bat, I don't recommend these to anyone that's getting into the hobby. I would much rather the Eshin EV800Ds. But these things get the job done at 50 bucks and it has an onboard battery and a 5 inch screen but no diversity just a single antenna last but definitely not least i have my ipad pro 12.9 inch this thing's great for reviewing footage on the go or even some light editing it has great battery life, and I definitely recommend this to anyone. Alright, that's going to be it for now. If you guys want a more detailed breakdown on any of the things in this video, let me know.